Good afternoon. I'm just going to cover an email Dale sent me today um, on the Facebook. I know some people ask me where to find me. Look for me on Facebook. I've actually got a uh, page where a lot of people send me messages, questions, and pretty much anything. Uh, but Dale's questions relating to going to Peru. He's been to the, the Philippines a few times and asking about similarities. Um, you're going to get some similarities around the globe relating to the fact of former connections with Spain. Um, Peru, a lot of South America, etc., are very well connected with Spain in the same way the Philippines is. Um, so, yes, there's going to be a lot of similarities. The, probably the bureaucracy is going to be the same, <laughs> the paperwork and everything else. Um, also, going to Spain, you know, where, where we live, it's a lot easier for people that have actually come from the former colonies, whatever they want to call them these days, um, to actually move to Spain. It's a lot easier. Um, so asking the question, should you visit there? I, I would say just do it. You know, at the end of the day, I can't really advise you on uh, the country itself because I haven't been to Peru myself, but I would certainly say it's worth a visit. You know, if you're, if you're seriously considering it, then you're already open to that um, opportunity. Another thing Dale brought up was the um, extortion where the women record, you know, they obviously have some internet liaison with their, you know, the guy or girl over the internet with webcams, etc. And then the, the woman uh, then tries to extort money to sell the, or sell the video to friends and family of that guy. Um, I would say there is many different scams out there. You just have to be very careful on what you're doing. I mean, one of the most recent things, um, what was I doing recently there, come across? Yeah, somebody was bringing up about the, the, the internet cap we, we used to have, and we even had it in there where the gay guy, and I do say the gay guys, because um, he would actually do all the keyboard work, because the girl that sat in front of the screen didn't speak English, so so the guys actually sat there doing all the work with the girl there, and the guys sitting thinking he's talking to the girl, um, yeah, he's having to explain in her ear what they're talking about. This why they don't have audio. So I do recommend if you're doing anything online, it is worth making sure that you do have a proper connection and don't do stuff that can get yourself in trouble. Um, but ultimately. The reason I'm bringing this up is the guy was obviously doing whatever he was doing. Um, and there's, what he couldn't see is around that computer screen was about six people. Um, because obviously you've got the guy sat to the side that's doing everything on the keyboard. The girl sat in front of it. Then they've got the friends on the other side as well, which can all see what's going on. Because the, the, the guy's asking the woman to do X, Y, Z. And it's like... I'm in an internet cafe, I can't do it, you know, blah, 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 which gets to another funny story related to the same same woman, different day, um, when the internet cafe's quiet, she's trying to um, unclone herself, she would say, but one of the one of the guys next to her, well, it's not, he sort of sat behind, but you can see the reflection in the screen, and he's going, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm hot in here, I'm taking my shirt off, and it's like, no, it's not. <laughs> it was just very funny. We were just trying to cover up for the fact that she was trying to make herself more viewable um, across the screen, which is why we keep an open plan in the first place, keep all that stuff out of the calls, eh, out of the uh, old internet cafe we had. Well, the, it was just amusing that even with several people in there, complete strangers, etc., some people will even still try and do it. It's bizarre. But yeah, the, the scams, just be very careful. Um, even if somebody actually says, oh, yeah, I've done this, I've recorded, but say, show me some proof then. <laughs> you know, because the, there's even spam emails that go out saying, I've got this, got that, etc. You've got to be aware that these people will try this sort of stuff on all the time. So be aware that even if you were doing something, just say, all right then. Where's the proof? And probably very likely, they didn't record anything anyway. But they're very unlikely to actually um, send it to anybody because there's no financial incentive to do that. 
if anything, it's just burned the bridge for them. Um, they're just after money. But my personal view on it, just don't get caught in the first place. Don't get into those sort of things. Um, yeah, just, just don't. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.